Oh well. Salutations, ladies and gentlefolk, and welcome to AI War 2. AI War 2, the sequel to AI War Fleet Command by Arson Games. The lovely 4X real-time strategy thing? Okay, it's like real-time with turn-based elements. Real-time with pausing, is what I should say. Where you're the last remnants of humanity attempting to take out an oppressive AI as it attempts to destroy you completely and utterly. And before we continue any further, how is the sound? I think the music is fine, because it's like about half my audio, so it's not overpowering. And welcome, Zalrock. But I don't know much of anything else beyond that. And I will warn you, I've played the original, but I also didn't get very far in the original because I was too busy on other projects at the time. So we're probably going to go through the tutorial on stream, which is going to be... Eh? We'll go through the tutorial. Okay, so there is no audio. Welcome to AI War 2. Sound is bad, usually on the internet. Fair enough. I'll try to rebalance things a little bit more. This is a very basic tutorial to help players get up to speed. First, let's learn how to control the camera. Arrow keys or WASDA to move stuff around. Holding Q... Oh, wait, what? Oh, right. Holding Q and moving the mouse to rotate the camera. Mouse wheel to page up, page down to zoom in and out. Camera speed can be changed in settings menu. Accessible by pressing escape. Once you're ready, select the build menu in the sidebar by clicking the build tab or pressing B until it opens. Hitting B will toggle you between build and dock menus. The build menu will allow you to place structures and other critical units. The docks menu is used to build your primary combat units. To assist with building things, let's start by building more engineers. You start with two, but we want more. Engineers are extremely useful. Units that can assist in building structures and heal your units after a battle. Find them in the build menu. Uh, as fast as we can, yes, sir. Hit the click on it. Okay. Now under the infrastructure of the build tab, you'll find the space dock at the end of the list. Mouse over the icons to find it. Then click on the planet map to start building. Oh, right, because you can control and drag, and it'll build everything simultaneously. Right. So, infrastructure. Those are defenses. So, space starship dock. Roger that. It's probably a bad idea to build, like, imp all important stuff all together. Okay, build. Planet map to start. Click on it, then click on the planet map to start building. To start it building. Oh, I built the starship dock like an idiot. Whoops. Open the docks tab if I'm building anything else. Greetings. Welcome back, that one off topic person. I'm glad that you've returned after about two weeks of phone recovery. Now we need to build some small fleet ships to prepare for combat. You see the number you can build. The number under the icon is the maximum number of ships of the type that you can have at one time. Build queues are automatically looping. It will build a selected unit until you tell it to stop. Pause construction via pause. Queue all available ships by clicking on the icon for each type of ship. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, so just get a move on. Your fleet is now building. This may take a while. You can see how many ships are left by looking at the docks menu. Speed up or slow down time by pressing plus or minus. Now we'll wait until the maximum number of each type is built. Also, I'm going to pull out my key, my uh, incredibly clicky keyboard. Because I remember this game. This game is about masses. And, Jesus Christ, are we going to be massive? Does this get the engineers? No, it does not by default select the engineers. Now, where's our base? Iverson, let's go. 
I could probably rally point everything, but hey, I don't remember anything of how to play it. Also, woe ships indeed. Yes, AI War 2 is noted for being about building hilarious amounts of ships. And just not stopping. But that's just because you'll need them. As the AI will always be able to kick your butt no matter what you do. Are you still building stuff? Hang on. Yeah, you're still building the fusion bombers. At some point. Alright, we're just gonna plus this. Okay, so the numbers actually do change based upon your actual real-time seconds. That's good to know. Sometimes it can be hard to know what your next goal should be. To get a sense of your in-game goals, let's open the objectives menu in the sidebar and mouse over the items there. That menu will provide a useful guide for what you should be trying to accomplish in the game. Hope those are all Galaxy-class starships. No, Flare, they definitely aren't. Let's marshal your fleet and blow things up. Select all your military units or press M. Scout one more planet, Choir Science and Paralis. And there's the beginner tips. Now add all your selected units to your first control group. Can I just control one? Yes. I'd like to not keep you assigned newly produced units to the control group manually, so let's rally to that group. Make sure you're still in the start planet. Select the docks menu. Rally button. Okay, you can rally newly built ships to a fixed location with a rally button or to a group group button. Group button. So press that icon. The icon turns green when rallying is active. This will automatically send all newly built ships to the location of the control group, as well as adding them to the control group. Note that each dock can rally a different way. So if you want your starships or fleet to rally all together, for now you do. Then click the button on both. Finally, send your fleet to the next planet. There's a wormhole to the other side. You may need to pan to the right to see it. With your unit selected, hold control and right-click on the wormhole or name the floating area above it or the name floating area uh, blah, 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 until you're supposed to fly through the wormhole to the next planet. Note, later on, if you're traveling far, just tab out to the galaxy and hover over any planet. Then it will show you the route your ships will take. Then right-click and your ships will go straight there. Without being able to see them, pause. I was a sad sal this morning. I made a cup of joe, but had no cream. There better be fleet formations. A huge wall would be hilarious. Oh no, this game does huge walls. Like, I'm gonna tell you this now. This does huge walls. So wait for the fleet to arrive. Let's open the ship's sidebar. Oh, wait. Let's open the ship's sidebar menu by clicking on it or hitting F. This will show all the ships at the planet and is a usual way to help manage a battle. You can see your units and also select them by clicking on their icons in the ship's sidebar. Tell you the name of the squad, strength is an indication of how powerful your forces are, and by the number next to the stylized S. You can move your selected units by right-clicking on the location. This planet is guarded by a guard post, which will spawn AI fleet ships when you get too close. Let's move our forces towards the guard post and destroy them first. You want to keep your fleet together to maximize firepower. It may take multiple assaults. You may need to only build a new fleet if you lose the first few. You may observe reinforcements rallying to your fleet. It's so in the group style rally you set. It's generally a good idea to destroy all AI defensive structures and units before capturing a planet. All right, so where's the guard post? So there's a missile launcher and there's some regular old metal harvesters here, and what's this one? And a sniper turret. So let's get rid of the sniper turret so we aren't dead and or dying. Also, give me that fleet. Fire on my command. Note, this game is in beta, so nothing here is final. I'm just playing through the tutorial because I am bad at AI war in general, but hey, I tend to like arson games and I've always wanted to learn. And as you can see, our ships are slowly getting destroyed by a sniper turret, but you know what? Let's just have fun and destroy everything else that's in our way. 
And now the other ships are fl firing on us. But now we get to start firing back. Right, I forgot shields are a thing. Alright, can we just rally up and then have them, like, kill other things immediately thereafter? That way we could just keep firing. Oh god, there's even more coming in. Sweet. Mass proportions versus tiny lasers. Yeah, I'd say these... Oh my god, look, these lasers are currently taking a 90 degree turn to be able to hit them. Beautiful. We have surrounded this guard post and are doing our best to destroy it, but it's just not happening. Oh. Wait a minute, are we getting sniped from off screen? No, we're not. It's just I'm I'm crazy. So we have to destroy everything here. Alright, let's go destroy everything else. I'm going to just uh, increase the time scale a little bit. There we go. Now we're in combat range. Now these combats are kind of normal. And they won't attack the command post by default. You shall not pass. I sent it. Sent what? <sighs> Great work. Now give an attack order against the enemy warp gate and command station if you haven't already, so your ships destroy them. They won't attack without orders because it increases AI progress, and so they'll attack me almost immediately. Alright, to capture the planet, go back to your home planet, then transfer your view to the original planet by control clicking on it. Click on the and find the colony ship in the build menu. Click on the colony ship icon. Click on the planet you choose where it builds. Once built, bring it to the middle planet. Then open the build menu on the middle planet to build a new command station. Three types of command stations for the tutorial. Just pick one. These tutorial will proceed when the planet is yours. They build slowly, so you might want to send a few engineers to help build it quickly. Sorry, I have to... I'm still bad at this. There's a bunch of scouts. Where are our engineers? Oi! Docks, where can I build a... Colony ship? Colony, there we go. And then we have to drag... Oh, I have to select the colony ship first. Can I not just tell the colony ship to just go straight to Iverson? Alright, how do I tell it to colonize? Click on the planet to choose where it builds once built. <sighs> Seriously? Okay, let's try this again. Don't want a group move. So why can't I just tell you what to do? Oh, right, I can just do this instead. So we'll actually fly through here? Of course not. <sighs> it's 
Not this. I can, like, go through. Why can't I... Yes, it, it is secretly a spy in disguise. Control planet, control clicking on the planet, then find the colony ship in the build menu. Click on the colony ship icon. Click on the planet to choose where it builds. So, tab out. Yeah, no, because once I go there... Oh, okay, I have to do it from here. That's weird. Did it actually come through? Oh my gosh, it did. Hallelujah. So I'd love to build an economic command station. Just build a military comm. Doesn't matter here. Engineers, I want this to go fast, You're, but this is too slow. Ships, where are our glorious, ever so glorious engineers? Can you, like, go here, good engineers? Oh, they're going. I'm just a bloody moron. Is this one of the games where you can genocide your enemies? No. To the spy who forgot who had a warp. It's a game where your enemies have already genocided you. <laughs> Agreed. One of the key resources in the game is energy. Energy is a global resource that allows you to build ships, turrets, and other critical structures. Chief means of obtaining energy is by building an energy collector. Build one on your new planet. Build menu under infrastructure. You can have them auto-build on your planets via the settings menu under automation. So, energy collectors. We will defeat the AI on the third planet before attacking. Let's send some scouts first. You guys are, oh, you guys are actually repairing our people. Alright, remember all those scouts we built all that time ago? Let's actually send them through, now that I think I actually have the hang of the controls. Are our scouts on the way? Maybe our scouts are also spies. Who knows? Oi. Wait, no, you guys what? You guys left. Where'd you go? Are you here? Oh, we need to upgrade some fleet ships. Upgrading this might be significantly... Oh, they actually already went through. I'm just a complete moron who just can't see anything. All right, so all these wonderful scout ships. The command station is destroyed. Where the fleet are obviously spies. Eh. So upgrade our fleet ships. Upgrading units makes them significantly more powerful. Let's open the tech menu to do so. When you hover over a unit, it'll tell you how much stronger it gets when you upgrade it. Upgrade a new fleet ship, the topmost category. Note that you probably won't want to upgrade the scout here since it's not a combat unit. So it increases the cost per squad to get the Mark IIs, but I also know that building the Mark Ones is also like a major point. Um don't need that. Let's just go with upgrading to the concussion corvette. Upgrade a few of them. Well, let's go for a Mark III for funsies. And then uh, get a Pike corvette. And toss up a fusion bot. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's just go. So, under our docks, I think I have to go over here in order to start building our stuff. Please, start building all the newbies. And then on this new one, where are our engineers? Uh, 
Do we have the metal refiners or whatever? We do have the metal harvesters. So in this case, let's build ourselves another dock over here so we can actually start building our ships. Well, we're starving for metal again, but I suppose I think we've gotten to a good point. Like, I think we can, uh, dump out a ludicrous number of forces. How about you? Try going on warp by itself in enemy territory. Just, why do you hate the colony ships so much? Just because I didn't know how to make them work doesn't mean that they're all spies. Alright, you know what? I, I get the feeling we should be able to kill these guys by now, so let's just, uh... Run through and go bomb the command station immediately. Alright, fine. Fine then, be that way. I'll queue up some orders. You boys gonna pop on through anytime soon? Wow, you really are just annoying, aren't you? Can you guys go? Oh, I have to shift click. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. That's a shame. Get all our forces in on this. Can you pull up the command station? Thank you. What the? Why am I? Get me all these forces. Go. Go suicide on the enemy. It's not that hard. This front mission three is pretty good. Uh, is there anything else here that we've missed? Oh no, we've we've got everything thereabouts. Absolutely. Unless there was something I've just completely neglected. Yeah, no, there's there's no AI forces left. Uh, we we've conquered this galaxy of only three ships, and not three ships, only three planets. I guess. I guess that's that then. Huh. Well. Yeah, I guess that's that. Interesting tutorial. Are we completely done, or...? I assume we finished. Yes, I, I can quit to the main menu, because that, that was a tutorial, not an actual game, so...